What's going on guys? Rabe here and today we're taking a look at Lego Wally -E from the Lego Ideas line. Uh, this is set number 21303, has 677 pieces and retails for about $60. Now, this set has kind of gone on and off the market a couple of times now um, because originally uh, there was some... Pr basically it's all due to the neck. So originally Lego pulled these sets uh, because I guess these little pieces down here were not quite strong enough to hold the head up, but uh, outside of that, there were many, many reports that the actual pin that held the head itself on uh, wasn't strong enough to hold the head in place, and it would just kind of spin freely. So uh, LEGO has fixed that problem as well, and I believe I got one of the, uh, one of the sets that will have the new neck pieces separately inside the box, uh, I believe. And the way you can kind of tell that from what I've heard, and I haven't opened this obviously yet, so I don't know for sure, uh, but the way you can kind of tell is that normally there are only two uh, pieces of tape on the box, uh, but as you can kind of see here, it's a little hard to tell. There are three pieces of tape on this box, and uh, there are actually these two on the ends here, which are the original uh, pieces, actually are overlapped with older ones. So at the factory, they actually cut open the box, they put in the new neck uh, pieces, and then they resealed it. So if you find your uh, Wally -E comes like that, then that means you've probably got one of the uh, updated versions. I don't know if further along they're actually going to um, kind of repack it completely with just the new neck pieces. I don't know, honestly. But So now it has a ball jointed head, uh, so it should be a lot more firm and a lot easier to manipulate and pose. So that said, it's Wally. -E. And it looks absolutely adorable just from the uh, just from the picture on the box. You can see he's got a little plant, he's got his little roach, and um, some nice printed pieces, as I'm always happy to see in the ideas range. Flipping along to the side that you know we've already kind of looked at, you can just see there's some scenes from the uh, the film itself. Sorry about the uh, little bit of a shaky table going on here. And uh, if we just turn this around to the back. You can see just another pose for Wally here. You can see his little cockroach friend in the inside of his uh, compacting chamber, composting chamber, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, you know, he's just enjoying life. He's got a little treads and everything. So very, very nice representation of the Wally -E character from the film. And I'm super excited to have this set. It's a hefty box. This thing's heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, probably a good... I'd say two, three pounds. So it should be a lot of fun building. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm going to go ahead, get this guy put together, and we will check him out in just a moment. Okay, guys. So yes, definitely. Uh, it turns out this is the uh, second run version, I guess. Uh, so I did get the nice, huge, thick instruction booklet here, um, as well as the new neck instructions. I was going to go ahead and put the original neck in there just to get, show you guys, you know, what the deal was, but I decided against it. I don't really care that much. It's just basically, so I can show you really quickly here. We got uh, step 92 here. <clears throat> so we'll just go to step 92. It really does uh, jump up quite quickly. So basically 92, uh, you're putting this pin connector in, and that is the pin that the head would rest, actually, no, that's not the pin that the head would rest on. Uh, it was, yeah, it was like that pin plus this pin sort of connection, whereas this has a uh, ball joint socket situation going, which is much, much better in my opinion. So yeah, here is Wally, uh, looking super, super cute. He does come with a little plant here, as well as his little uh, cockroach friend. We'll just so 
it's very very simple so we'll just put that off to the side we'll get the plant and just put that off to the side as well so very very simple little builds and then here you are left with wally and uh <clears throat> as you can see his arms are on ball joints here and they can actually slide back and forth uh, into the body itself so very cute he's got a little cutouts for i believe these are for uh maybe like the wheels they're supposed to look like the wheels can go up or down or maybe that's like uh space for the arm to move but uh you know it's not really actually relevant to the model it's just kind of there to represent the actual character um so Turning this guy around, you can see some very beautiful details on here. We've got some printed pieces, the Wall-E, the uh, solar charge level here, all printed. Uh, you can turn them right around and see some nice detail here. You got the pistons in the back, along the back of his body here. Uh, I believe this is to, this is part of his compactor uh, set, and when I was putting it together, like, the first several steps, like the first many, many steps, have it like this. And so I'm like, I don't remember Wally having exhaust pipes. I don't remember that at all. But then, you you know, you put it all together and you uh, put those down and you're like, oh, yeah, it's the pistons for the uh, little compactor thingy there. So very, very cool. He's got nice treads going on here. Uh, you'll need like a kind of a rough surface to actually get them to move. Uh, but obviously you can see they do rotate freely with no problem uh, and yeah nothing really going on on the bottom here uh, <clears throat> like I said you can slide these back and forth they are also on a ball joint so you can get some nice posability out of them there uh, the hands do swivel and the fingers are posable individually posable so he's got those big flat flappy fingers very very cute and you can just pose like that uh, the neck is on several of these clicking ratchet joints like this so you can kind of crane his head up and of course again the head itself is on a ball joint now so you can turn it in whatever direction you please you can look up you can look down left right whatever you want to do and if this is any kind of a problem you can just put some nail polish on it and, and tighten it right up there's no problem on mine I'm just saying like in the future should it become you know a little loose due to use or play or whatever uh, you can do that his eyes are also uh, posable in that you can stick them together like so or spread them apart <laughs> it's gonna give him droopy face or you know kind of set him there at kind of his middle ground just like so he's also got another feature where you, this uh, little bit opens up and you can see inside here there's really not much in there. there's no real detail in there uh, they do leave a little open space that you can you know I don't know, do whatever you want with tuck <laughs> tuck his accessories inside there if you want to or just take all of the extra Lego parts you get from your Lego sets and smash them into a kind of a cube and just stick them in there as compacted trash so to speak uh but yeah really really nicely done model here a beautiful representation of the wally -E character and i would expect no less as this was designed uh by the same person that uh helped design the robot itself um so that is super super cool and overall, yeah, it's just a really, really nicely done, nicely built set. And now that they've fixed the neck issue, um, it's like a total 10 out of 10 for me. Like, this is a, a if you're a fan of the films at all, like, this is totally a, a must-have set. It really is a, a lovely display piece. And it's actually, it's, it's a very good size, too. I don't know if you can tell, like, by, you know, by the size of it. You can see... Of course, this is four studs across the center of the, uh, I guess, body, main body here. I'll just do a size comparison with a Mixel, if that helps. So you can see he's he's a hefty size, and uh, he's got a lot of good weight to him. And he's just cute as anything. I mean, look at those eyes. 
let's uh let's just zoom in on those eyes that face come on how can you say no to that face <laughs> but yeah that is absolutely a fantastic set i am i am super pleased with it super happy with it and I think you will be too. So that is actually going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I've got more LEGO coming real soon, so keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.